This is the dilemma for people like me. The way Doug talks here about evangelicals responding to COVID and CRT makes me want to align with Moscow. But in practice, the way his tribe mocks and scorns those Christians on the other side makes me want nothing to do with him. <clears throat> it's almost like when you share edgy humor with kids and they go out in public and immediately use the same jokes in inappropriate ways and offend everyone by imitating their dad. Right. That was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That is good. <laughs> and it's a real problem. Yeah. So um, when I've written on satire, one of the things I've done is I've written 21 principles for a satiric writer. What are the guardrails? Yeah. What are the principles? Right. And I have no doubt <laughs> that there are people who take their inspiration from me. They're 19 years old. They read a couple of my blog posts and then go home and make fun of their mom. I'm not in favor of that. They shouldn't do it. And in that but, case, they're, they're doing it despite your stated, you're like they're not actually imitating you right. because you said do it this way with these boundaries and they blew past the boundaries. And so at that point, like there is an element of like, people are gonna sin and you can issue the exhortations and you can do all that you can do. Yeah. Someone's under our care, yeah. pastoral care, and they are off the leash online. That's something we pastor. So if, if we're responsible yep. for them and someone said, hey, so-and-so is out there going after, they will get a note or someone will check in with them. That's yeah. something we care about. Okay. Uh, if someone in South Carolina is doing that, and I don't know anything about it, and I don't know who he is, right. but he claims he's inspired by me, yeah, that's a, a world's a fallen place.